Okay guys, um, okay welcome back to um, casting and molding. Um, so this is a, one of the uprights of the bezel obviously that I uh, cut out. It, one end was already busted so I just sawed the other end off. And uh, my idea for a, mold, for a mold for this was to basically have a two-part mold um, and uh, just do it between two pieces of wood um, with a, I feel like a channel dug out for the uh, the uh, plaster Paris compound, etc, etc. Um, however, when I put this uh, upright here on a flat metal surface, I don't know if you can see this on the on the camera, but it's not flat. It's very slightly curved. So there's about a 64th maybe more, maybe a 32nd of curvature, at the, you know, that it peaks here. And so I thought maybe it's just this one because it's broken. Uh, so I, I had a look at the rest of them and they're all like this. So there is a delicate curve on the uh, on the whole bezel. So, um, having uh, spent a fair amount of time trying to figure out what I might do with this, here's what I came up with. So for one half of the mold, which at the moment is going to be this guy right here, I've sanded a curve which matches this guy right here, so that now we're locked it's there's no it's fully supported all the way along so the idea is that that becomes one half of the mold I'm gonna stick this onto it just very delicately um, what I then did was I put sticky sandpaper on here and I sanded the opposite if you like form Got to get it oriented the right way around so that these two guys fit together with no gap in the middle. Um, so the idea is that the upright bar here is going to be tacked on here temporarily. I'm going to route a wide channel down the center of this which will take, if you like, the plaster of Paris put the two halves together and the reason I did it with wood like this is so that I get the registration correct because what I'm hoping to do is when these two pieces are together with this guy down the middle here I will be able to pour the plaster of Paris in such a way that it fills all around the outside but also all down the middle so then when I take the two pieces apart this one comes away completely on its own with just a groove here which is the uh, the outer shape and then hopefully I can remove this piece from this one and leave the inner part um, stuck on the wood so that then I have the inner and outer pieces and because the wood is exactly the same thickness etc etc registration should be okay ambitious maybe that's the plan so next is to cut a groove uh, route a groove out of this <coughs> Then I'm going to have to remove the paint from this guy and then I'm going to have to uh, do all the old waxing treatment here. Well, fix it on here first. No, no. Uh, I got to get all the paint off. Then do all the waxing of the inner surface so that hopefully it will release from the plaster of Paris when I'm ready. St uh, stick it on here. Uh, wax this whole thing so that it will release. Uh, when I have this routed, I just need to wax each side because I want the plaster pairs to stick on the inner part. And then hopefully it'll all come apart the way I want. So I don't know if any of that makes sense. I have it in my head. So router is next, and then we'll see from there.
Okay, um, it took a while to get that gold paint off. Um, so I hope whatever gold I have that I can spray this with later when I make the new ones is a reasonably close match to what's on there. Otherwise it's uh, it's going to be a lot of work to get all the rest of the gold up so it's all the same color when we're done. Anyway, okay hopefully you start to get to see the CD idea here. So this guy is going to be tacked on here so that it's fixed but not permanently obviously. Um, and um, the other half will go on like this. Um, I think. Then it'll all be sealed up at the bottom end. And then I'll pour the uh, the casting plaster Paris material down the, down the top here. And what I'm hoping is that it will go all around the outside but also fill up the inside and come back up on the inside so that I'll have both uh, sides of the mold done in one go. Then the idea is I'll take this off with all the plaster paris stuck in here and the impression of this. That'll be one half of the mold. Then hopefully I'll be able to get this off leaving the other half of the mold in here. Then when I put these two guys together, just pour the epoxy in and we're done. Easy. So the um, the uh, plastic upright piece is fixed temporarily to the lower half of the mold and then the upper half here has got the cavity. And so I'll just hold it vertically, pour the goo down in there. I'll block off the bottom end obviously so that it'll come out. Um, and then we'll see how it goes. I mean, the success I think will depend on the viscosity of the uh, of the molding uh, compound. Hopefully, it's going to be nice and liquid, so that it will pour down, and then it'll come back up the center one here. That's the plan. Let's see how we get on. And here I've done the um, the three coats of applied wax with uh, wet gloss and buffed it up. Uh, so I've done all the surface and just the two sides here because obviously I want the plaster of Paris to uh, stay in here with the impression of that. Um, oh, other little bit of good news on the actual epoxy itself. Um, when I first took it out of the mold it, it was a little bit bendy but a week later it's hard as a rock. Even this little uh, thin bit up at the end here doesn't budge. So I'm very confident that the epoxy is going to be okay. Uh, not too sure about the mold yet. Okay, that's 36 grams of uh, batter and 9 grams of water, which is the uh, 4 to 1 ratio it says. I have a feeling it's going to be way too gooey to go down in the small spaces of my uh, mold. Ratios are definitely correct according to the book, so. Uh, doesn't say do you add the liquid to the water or the powder to the liquid. Um. We didn't make enough. Oops. We got bubbles in there. I don't know how to get them out. It looks like I may have the outer form, but not the inner one.
Well, I made enough. But. I didn't get a sense of how long it takes to set. But, here we go. Let's, uh, it says you had six minutes of mixing time. So we'll give that uh, an hour or so, and then we'll come back and we'll see if uh, if it has uh, solidified. Yeah, I've been reading up on, uh, on all this casting stuff and uh, it kind of reminded me of years ago when I first went to college in 68 and we used to uh, we were studying engineering. I used to watch all these movies uh, about uh, big steelworks casting and all that stuff like uh, sand casting and, and the lost wax process and all that stuff. Um, I guess I should have done that earlier. Anyway, it was a cool nostalgia trip. Uh, this seems to be drying off fairly quickly, so I may not have too long to wait before we know is there a massive big air bubble trapped in here somewhere? Or might this actually be a, a step in the right direction? Okay, this stuff goes off really quickly. Um, I poured it out a couple of minutes ago. I had the phone rang. I went and answered the phone for a couple of minutes and I came back and it looks to be pretty solid. Unfortunately, the, another bubble popped out while I wasn't here. And uh, so I have a little cavity there. I don't know if I'll have more. Um, so yeah, not quite sure what to do. I think I'll wait and see how this pans out. And if there's no more cavities other than that one, we'll try and repair it. If not, we'll scratch and have another go. Okay, it's about an hour later. This is rock hard now. So, uh, let us see what we can see. None leaked out the bottom. Okay. Yeah, that seems pretty hard. But at least this would suggest that uh, the material flowed all the way down. It's not going to just fall apart anyway, that's for sure. It's definitely released at the top here, but it's not released here at the bottom. And this stuff is so brittle. You can see why it says dental quality on the, on the packet. Hmm, okay. Almost, but not quite. Um, what's happened is the mold release didn't quite work to give me the level of detail that I need. So, uh, I'm very close though. And it looks like the center piece is full. Um, So, um, that's a shame. So close and yet so far, because you can probably see right up at this end, it's not too bad at all. But all along here, the edge is lost, 
um, where it didn't quite release properly. So, I guess we're going to have to go around again. This process looks like it has potential though. So I think we'll stick with this and we might have another go around of it. I just have to figure out a way of getting the mold release all the way down to the very corner here. Um, and I don't know, I might put a little oil or something in there next time out. Okay, I think we'll, uh, we'll call that a day. So next I have to try and get all this uh, material out of here, out of this groove. So we can uh, have another shot at it with uh, more of the mold release compound uh, fitted. But uh, this is a, um, I think we might get somewhere with this one.